Lesson number 3 under Module 2, we're going to discuss Introduction to Linear Programming and Optimization. The idea of linear programming may be based calculus. We can relate calculus to the industries, manufacturing problems, for example, optimizing the profit or revenue, or maybe minimizing the losses using linear programming. For linear case, if f of x is a continuous function and linear on the close interval a, b, then f of x attains both an absolute minimum value and an absolute maximum value on the interval a, b. And this uh, should occur at the endpoints of the interval. For higher dimensional optimization, if f of x, y is continuous on closed and bounded plane region R, then f of x, y contains both an absolute minimum value and an absolute maximum value on the region R as shown in the figure. And these values are critical points of f of x, y, which may occur either in the interior of the region R or on the boundary of R. Now, in the case of higher dimensional linearity, so here we're, we're dealing with uh, plane surface, so if f is the function no, in terms of several variables, n, in this case n variables, is linear on closed and bounded region R, which is a subset of the Euclidean space Rn, then the function f contains both an absolute minimum value and an absolute maximum value on the region R. Note that these values are critical points that occur on the corner points of R, or vertices. And also, the Euclidean space Rn no, consists of a system of linear constraints. Now, in the simplex method, that is an algorithm to traverse the corner points of the visible uh, polyhedron, so this is your region R. For a linear programming problem, to find an optimal feasible solution. The simplex method was developed by George Danzig in 1947. And programming is synonymous with optimization. The algorithm uses uh, the Gauss-Jordan reduction method that involves a uh, solution of matrices, which is applied on the augmented matrix corresponding to the linear programming problem. Now, for two independent variables, we may use uh, the graphical method. And this is how the simplex algorithm works. Now, you split the entries of the vector x, y into two subsets. So this is a column. And then we have the basic variables. So represented by x sub b, which belongs to the uh, rm which is non-zero valued or non-vector. And then we have the non-basic variables x sub n, which belongs to Rn. Now represents a corner point of the visible region. If an optimal, if, if 
it is not an optimal, then we move to an adjacent corner point by swapping one entry in XP with one entry in XN and resolving the system of equations. For example, so here we have a, a polyhedron containing uh, five faces of five plates. So it is actually a pentahedron. Now a possible feasible region in this case pentahedron and then you have the function f of x y z so this is in three dimensional space represented by a x plus b y plus c z which is subject to five linear constraints no? uh, five place actually so this one represents a plane no? in three dimensional space a solution to minimize the function f over this pentahedron will occur at a corner point or vertex of the polyhedron or pentahedron. So here we have how many? One, two, three, four, five uh, vertices. So we choose the origin as your initial basis. So we start at zero, zero, zero. And then repeat until the objective function is minimized. So no remaining adjacent corners will reduce okay, the function or the objective function. So for our, our references, we have the one uh, from Blaise Marcel articles or notes no? from Griva, Igor, Stephen, Nash, and then Hillier, uh, Frederick, and Gerald Lieberman.